today we gonna be uh, doing push notifications so push notification is a notification generated from the uh, third party server that goes to the uh, apple apple server and then it goes to your phone so a push notification is basically a notification from the server to your phone so it's not local it's from the server to your phone so whatever notifications that you see on the cell phone like the flood warning and stuff are all push notifications so uh, yeah so let's get started so let's uh, make an app id and then we have to upload the keychain certificate on it so let's go to developer.apple.com and over here let's go to member center and i'm gonna log in with my developer account so yeah one thing you need your developer account you can't make push notification without that so you can buy one it's hundred dollars yearly and you're gonna need it if you plan to upload applications on the app store so i got one and i'm gonna be um, using it so let's go to certificates ios app certificates so let's make a app id okay uh, go to app ids and then go over here name let's name it push video make it explicit app id and we have to give the bundle name so let's go to uh, xcode and make a new project a single view push video uh, for data no 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 for data okay so i have the uh, push not push video uh, let's copy the bundle identifier so it's in push video general copy the bundle identifier paste it over your bundle id and enable push notifications let's hit continue submit so the app id is made uh, done now again go to your uh, push video and you have to configure the push notifications so it should be green but it's still yellow so it wants an SSL certificate which is made from your keychain so let's go to keychain and in your keychain uh, go to uh, where is the certificates assistant request certificate from center authority just give your email address Okay, save to disk continue I saved it on saved it on saved it on desktop you can save it save it wherever you wish done this part is done so now let's create certificate continue so now you have to submit that file so I saved it on desktop this is the certificate probably this is a certificate and I'm gonna keep it over here uh, certificate I have to look for it that's what it is now generate now this uh, now Apple has given you a developer certificate the Apple developer iOS push services this is of APNS Apple Protocol Network Services Download Certificate. So I downloaded it and I'm gonna have it. And I'm gonna keep it over here. So I'm gonna have all my certificates on the desktop just to make it easy. Okay. And so once I have this have the certificate done now i will have the certificate over here for push video and my app id is my ipad is over here push video so now uh, so now i will configure so this part is done now we will make a, a and now we have to make a ap uh, a P12 certificate so just double click on it so that it goes to your keychain and now open your keychain this is the one just made push video 
right click on it and say export uh, this is certificate desktop save so we want to save it on .p12 uh, so don't give any id and password because we don't want to lock it hit ok and then give your mac password so this part is done so this will go to the pass our third party server which is pass in our case and select the uh, id and now this part is done so now we will make a provision profile a provi provision profile authenticates your device to run the app you are developing so let's go back over here provision profile let's add a new one ios development app development hit continue we are right now just developing app id is the one that you just made uh, push video this is my developer certificate uh, this is my cell phone like professional name uh, push push video now it's downloaded and I'm gonna copy and paste the same thing over here push video is here I'm gonna open it so it should go to my Xcode now and now we will uh, change some settings over here. now let's get back to this now the file is in my now we will do the pass application now let's go to the pass.com okay so I am already logged in I will just uh, go to my app so we have to make a new application and for the new application I will go to select an app or just hit plus new app I will push push video now let's go to push now I have to upload my dot p1 to certificate so go to settings and uh, go to push apple push certificate select your certificates so we have uploaded the uh, apple certificate now you, now we need the keys okay uh, once we are done this part we uploaded the push certificate now we have to do settings in our application so go to application capabilities and over here hit the hit the yes and now uh, go to the set build settings project build setting and we have to select the certificate the code signing the so code signing is apple developer push video in the push video okay, push video developer is active video and the provision profile is push video again same for target go to build settings and say iphone developer no should have other work yeah uh, yes push video yes done and now we need to add code inside what did finish with options Okay, uh, so before we add code, we have to probably install uh, pods. Uh, so, so pods basically. So now we have to install the pass framework. To install the pass framework, we have to. So we have to say. Uh, so we have to install the framework. But now we can just use pods. I'm going to teach you how to use pods as well. So just open your terminal and just look ls cd space desktop ls cd space push video i'm gonna go inside my project i'm gonna so for first you guys hit this sudo 
update so we have to say first this command to install the pods and after the pods is done then go to your project like I'm doing and then say pod in it so this should make a pod file inside your folder now once you have the pod file uh, just say target push video do and now say pod and that's it and now you come back to the terminal and you say pod install now this will install the pod libraries for you now once you have uh, successfully installed pods you should see all green and then close this terminal and go to your view uh, controller dot uh, app delegate only and then try to import one of the uh, frameworks of parse so say parse slash parse dot h now if it's able to recognize it that means yeah you have successfully downloaded it now it's time to add some code now i will i will i will attach this code in your uh, in the description so you can just copy and paste it basically you are now Basically, you are now like uh, configuring your notifications. So you're saying like it's of type alert, batch, sound. And then you say settings, and then you uh, call basically call these two methods once you configure the uh, notifications. And now these methods. So we have to add these methods now so we add this that register for remote notifications with device token now you add these methods now so this method that we just copy pasted will will be called uh, as soon as as soon as you re receive a notification and now once the notification received did receive after that you push the user information to the database we will just see how it works okay and then set device token so now you use device token so after this let's run it on simulator once oh wait we didn't copy paste it the So once you copy pasted the code, you also need to set the application ID and the client ID of your application. So you go to your uh, notifications, uh, go to uh, your documents, your applications, go to settings, and in settings you wanna find keys. This is your application ID, which will link to your application to this application on parse, and this is your client ID that means this is the client of the you are the client of this application okay so this is the uh, this is the address of the server and this is the address of your application now you're gonna have a linker issue because we want to open pods so close this one again open push video and now open workspace because that's what you need for to operate with the pods okay now we have added the code and now let's run in our iPhone 5 simulator. Once we're done with these parts. There are a lot of files. Yeah, that happens with the pods. There are going to be multiple files. okay I believe so it's running fine so it's we are ready to run uh, on our phone cell phones so 
let's run it on our cell phone and I can show you the uh, screen Bye, yeah. so right now my application is downloading so let's, let's stop this part Give it a while, it should run. It just takes a while. Mm, now you should be able to play. So now we play. So let's see if it runs. Okay, probably now it's working. Now I will say hit OK. And now once I... Uh, so now I will send an, a notification for my pass. So I say push. And now, see right now my code will be empty. I should have one so this is my this is my because now my application has successfully configured with the pass so I can see the information of my of my device so you are so I have code this is my app identifier this is the bundle ID basically app version batch number this is my channel global this is my device token and then I have all the details and now if I send a notification sending that so I want my recipients to be everyone I can select a delivery time and now I can see a message so now you can say hi I successfully able to send a, a message from pass okay now when I hit send I should see it on my cell phone so see push video as if able to send a pass so now I can send a, send a notification from my from a server to my application so thank you guys so we are successfully able to configure a push notification from the server to the application stay tuned for exciting videos from next time and please subscribe to my channel thank you